All right, everybody, let's take a look at what we've got in the mysterious box as we go through our opening. All righty then. A lot to go over in this video, as you all know. As you all know, we have more Epsons in the household um, than most people do. I have even more Epsons in my office. Let me make sure I turn this down. Um, basically, everybody, Epson was kind enough to provide us with a printer for this demo and unboxing. So over here at this printer here and this printer here and that one down there in the green or the uh, cover that's covered up is a P800. Um, and a lot of these printers, everybody, a lot of these printers, everybody, I use for direct-to-film printing which are printing photographic prints on t-shirts. And as you know, this form of printing has taken over the print industry and has caused a major um, excitement of printers. People that were formerly, formerly using things like white toners and getting subpar results. Yeah, what's up, buddy? Um, somebody just commented, isn't this the fabled concave? No, man, we're focusing on printers. But yes, I do a lot of concave printing. I do. A, I print for a lot of subjects. Can't say your name, sorry. And things. I just so, it up. so um, here's the thing we have to think about, everybody. Along came last year, June of last year, printing methods on some of our favorite printers right here at the Epson 3880, photographic printers, Epson P800s, Epson R3000s down there. 17 inch wide printing DTF on the 4800 and then um, over here as you know let me get some of this area cleaned up we're in the middle of printing production already and as you know over here everybody is the beloved Epson F570 printer I know you can't see it but the camera will roll around so that you can see that printer there and I have many more printers in our office or our shop. So sublimation printing and photographic printing has been something that has been a part of my heart for years. You look up there, I don't have a lot of photos because I started taking things down because I want to put up more photos with the P700 and the P900. Um, I started out as a photographic printer and I bought my first Epson right around 2011 or 2012. Um, and I just began to print with it like crazy. And then I took a sabbatical for a while and then got into printing again right around 2015, which I bought my first um, Epson printer and had it made into a uh, direct-to-garment printer that can print on shirts. And, you know, since then, I just, I love to print. And um, I, I'm actually addicted to printing. So, you know, it's a you very weird thing to say. It's, I'm addicted to printing, you know. Many men are addicted to buying cars. They're addicted to going to bars and playing pool. Um, I'm addicted to printing photos. You know, I, I, I just, I really love to print. And as you know, we have two large 64-inch eco-solvent printers. What's up, buddy? This guy really likes printing. Uh, I just took up photographing myself a nook. Can't look on um Nikon. What, yeah. A what and would Nikon. you uh suggest? Well here's what I'd suggest right now. What I have to do is I have I'm making uh so for nursing homes, if you're in a if you know somebody in a nursing home, I almost provide at free printing for people in nursing homes, you know, and so um a person in a nursing home reached out to me and asked me if I would print them a cap. And absolutely. So we're just taking this graphic right here, printed on this Epson printer. You want to turn it that way, Apple? Printed on that Epson printer right there. And uh, we're going to put it on a hat while we're live and in the groove. So let me just get this thing powdered and I'm ready to uh, put on a t shirt or a ball cap. So now we're going to print some printers or print some photos. Some things that I. 
You know, in 20, in 20, in 2015, who would be calling me right now? Epson America. I can't deal with the Epson. Um, in 2015, uh, they're probably, just to show you guys, they're probably checking on me just to, uh, you can see that right there. Epson's like, hey man, did you get us a printer yet? Um, so as you know, um, where was I going to go with this? Uh, hold on. Let's go to decline. As you know, <laughs> it's absent calling. Hey man, you going to do a review? So as you know, um, in uh, 2015 is what I was thinking of. I was, um, I bought my first Nikon P900, a really expensive camera. And I wanted to um, take my prints that I was using. I'm a photographer as well. And I love to take my own photos and then print them. Printing doesn't really mean as much to you until you're ready to print your own photos. I mean, you can design in Lightroom you can design in Photoshop and you can send a copy to a print company somewhere and it's like you know sending off your print to a Walgreens but only a, a photo printing company is a very high you know high definition and a high quality photo being a photographer doesn't really mean much to you until you can print your own photos accurately so what we're going to do now is we're going to turn this printer around and we I can see the questions right here I need help the lunar eclipse is coming what and I need to know how to properly photograph the moon. Well, the way to properly photograph that moon is to buy a Nikon P900 or P1000. But, you know, we'll definitely get back over there because on my channel we have a lot of photographic printing. All right, so Apple and I are going to unbox this. And um, hopefully you can see it's in the... It's going to be heavy. I don't want oh, to no, no, it's not heavy. a heavy printer. See, oh, look, really? They've done a lot of things differently to the P700 and the P900, because this is a P800. Because I remember um, picking those things. Yeah, right, right. And so we're just going to take a look and see what's in the box. And um, we're going to look at the inks really quick. And I think that the new inks are something like 25 uh, milliliter inks, but I could be wrong. Who knows? Thank you, Epson, making our dreams come true here. Let's take a look at the inks that we're going to receive now. Epson P900 and 700 inks. Wow, they're interchangeable, I think. This is kind of cool. This is kind of cool for printing on CDs. Although most people don't print on CDs anymore. When I'm printing photographic prints for a photo shooting, I do print on CDs. Um, these are definitely smaller than the P600 or P800, I mean. And it looks like there's no way to tell the size of these things, but it looks like they're about 25 ml. Maybe a little bit more. I just, I can't see. So let me get my glasses and we can tell. It's so funny, Epson called me while. Well. Yeah, yeah, get into it, dude. Relax a bit. <laughs> Don't kill me that way. Same you know? person that asked the other question said, uh, I got, um, <coughs> ah, I need water. Where's my water? I think it's in my room. Now let's take a look and then we're going to, uh, I guess what we can do is we can just set these right here and then we'll keep unboxing as we go along. I don't want to take up any area that you're viewing in. The Epson Sure Color Start Guide, that's pretty cool. Um, choose a location for the printer. We know that the printer weighs 30 pounds, which is perfectly fine. We're going to put it on top of this Epson P800 just to give you guys kind of a side by side view. This is going to be the maintenance box. going to need a plug. It's going to use a standard Epson plug, which we have right here. So we'll just go ahead and get this unboxed, unwrapped. Now, there are some new features about the Epson printers. 
that we are excited about, and that is the new Violet. The new Violet is going to allow us to print some of the bluest colors and the purple colors. If you're like me, you love to photograph the sky, you know, you definitely want to be able to uh, photograph <laughs> um, the sky in its natural color. And, you know, we're just going to take a look. And I can tell you, everybody, this is a lot smaller. Can they see it, Apple? Uh, this yes. is a lot smaller than the P600, and it's lighter as well. So I want to get this out of the bag. Let's see which way this is going to open. Uh oh. Try to help here. Is it on the bottom? No, that's not, is there tape on the bottom? Oh no. Okay, so let's see. Maybe on the sides here. No, it's not on the side. Maybe it's just to hold the printer. Oh, it's right here. Okay. I see where it's at. It's in a little clear tape. All right. Go ahead and pull the bag off. Now let's just set it here on that uh, pretty little bubble tape we have here. And this gives you an idea about the but width. If, if it's like a little like RTD tube. I know, dude, it, it could totally compress. fit, I like it. So we're going to measure. Go behind the camera so they can, we can get this correct and you know they can see what we're looking at. We're going to measure 20 inches in width by 14 and a half, what well, looks to be about eight inches in height. And um, we just want to pull this forward a bit because we'll need to be able to get around. There we go. Now, let's get to untaping this brand new printer. And for those of you, um, for those of you that are already wondering if you're in one of the DTF groups, cannot be used for DTF yet, um, the printer will not recognize the film, and right now there are uh, just issues. So we're probably looking at several months before you can utilize this, but until then it's probably one of the best 13 inch, it is the best 13 inch printer in the market hands down. And um, let me just make sure I've got a little bag here, trash bag. I want to throw all those little things in the trash bag. Sure. So, um, just getting this thing unboxed here. Man, it looks really nice. I, I already like it. You know, I print at conventions a lot, and uh, my wife loves to go to different conventions to print, um, nursing conventions, different school conventions and stuff like that. And she just, uh, she's just going to love this. She couldn't be here today because she was working, but we definitely, I want to get out of the way of the camera so you guys can see this. Sorry about that. That's not very satisfying. Why? Just like seeing you struggle with it. I uh, yeah I know but you know it is what it is. Oh that that was cool. All right yeah. I always like to keep our tape. You know I do have some more tape like this, but if I want to ship this thing or you know I can just use. I don't know why you would ship it but. Um, so if I'm flying, I have to ship it, you know, I can't. Yeah, uh, I thought like you, like when you said that, you'd be selling it. I don't know why. Yeah, I'm not going to sell the P700. We already sell P700s on the website, so, you know, as an Epson dealer, we can sell P700s. And it looks like, here in just a moment, this is going to pop up. I like it already. Ooh, look at the shine. Tell you, let's take a look at the top, everybody. It's a fabulous look. Even, like you can see the hands and everything. Like, Someone's got a Nikon D three thousand. Great camera. Um, oh, not 
sounds like a whole entire like like an R2D2. Loading bay. Yeah, I can definitely feel the static in my hands. <laughs> um, so, you know, we have a lot larger of an LCD than we did with the previous units, the P600 and P700. We'll go ahead and install our inks once I turn this on. Yeah, this must be over here. Oh, that's where our LAN, so we have a LAN connection and a USB connection. That's pretty cool that you can take a look right over there, everybody. Unlike the previous versions of Epson, all the connections were in the back. This does not have connections in the back. We'll just go ahead and um, lift this up here and then we'll be able to show you the back. I'll pick the camera up. My son will put it back into The Epson printer P800 has a connection here. If I can get a light on. There's a connection down here for your USB right there and your um, Ethernet. And up here you have nothing like that back there. You simply have all of your connections right over here. Oh, it's actually in, it's in the slot right there. Um, and then we'll go ahead and hook it up by a USB. And then what we're going to, don't draw on that please. It takes a little bit of creativity -ness, but you can airbrush later. Um, okay, so. Definitely, we want to plug this up. Waldo Stinks, what's up, my brother? Fly me to the moon, my friend. Fly me to the space. Let's go ahead and see which one I'm going to use here. We're going to go in through our USB port. I didn't even see the blinds. Huh? On the Epson Coolio. on the top. Coolio. Now we're getting, we're, should be getting ready to be plugged up here in just a second. We can run multiple. You know, everybody, the beautiful thing is this, is that... Um, you know, I see people getting products and doing reviews on them, and they're doing reviews based on somebody sending them something, so their review is always skewed. It's never a review from um, honesty. So when these laser printers go out to people and, you know, they're doing reviews, racking up a few hundred thousand views on YouTube, they're never telling you the truth about the pain and the hassle of some of those printers. And I can tell you right now, I love the Epson P600, I love the P800. You should know I love them because I have two sitting right here, a total of 10 in our office. And um, of the P600- So many printers? Yeah, of the P600s, we have about 35. We only sell them now for photographic printing. Um, there's nothing I'm hiding from you. You know, I'm excited to get this baby to turn on and I'm excited to, see this print I've got the perfect picture that I want to print it's gonna be another baby photo of yeah it's gonna be a baby photo I want to print my son on the photo how did you know you so smart first thing we want to do is to look at your predictable <laughs> and we want to take off always everybody when you're buying a new printer you definitely want to make sure you take the tape off the print head some printers will have a key and, um, you know, you just want to definitely make sure you get that tape off there because you've got to throw the printer on and you won't be able to turn it on. Let's take a look inside of the Epson. This is now a 10 channel printer. One of the benefits over this printer versus a P600 and P800 is that both of these former units had a matte black channel and a PK channel that used to share the same line. 
Now there's no reason to share. Um, the lines are simply uh, separate, making it the first 10 channel desktop printer. To get into a 10 desk or 10 channel printer, you have to step up to something like that Epson over there that is violet, it also has orange. So there's a lot of colors that he uses. Um, we wanna make sure that I got that light off and then let's get back into discussion of the printer. We'll go over some of the specs and what makes this printer a revolutionary printer and um, make sure we're plugged in so that our battery lasts. We're going to do now is make sure, you know, I kind of wonder if my printer over there is leaning. It's a leaning tower of Pisa right now um, with all of this stuff I have on it. So you figure on this side, probably a hundred pounds worth of printers or maybe 80 pounds, you know. Now, most printers, everybody, You'll see liquid in the print lines. This is a brand new printer. But when you get printers, it's all part of the print production. Nothing to worry about. Doesn't mean that there's any ink in it or anything. This baby is brand spanking new. And some of the differences of the printer is this. Now we'll open up the Epson printer below. And you know, the P600 is very similar. You have your roll tray here, and um, we have a little bit different of an option here. So our roll tray, this is for our front media load, which now has a dual um, size loader, unlike the other previous printers where you load from the left. This is for feeding through your poster board if you want to print on poster board. And this is going to be the rack to pull out um, your photographic paper, which is kind of cool, everybody. And then you have one in the back as well. And so we'll take a look at the one in the back as well. We'll shut that down. That's our back loader here, in which in just a moment, we'll throw some prints off once the ink is loaded, which maybe is going to be a part two of this video. But I am telling you, everybody, you have a back loader here as well for, for the straight feed through. We'll take a look at that as well. My helper just bailed off, so let's take a look back here. I don't need this. This is now also a revolutionary print from your iPhone process, which is very cool. This is the loader right here, and as you can see, you have a dual size. Um, tray loader, which is very cool. Something not normal in the other printers. So if you wanted to print by, um, it's very interesting, that should close all the way down, right? What's the deal? Maybe not, maybe it's gotta open. Cool, easy enough, right? Let's go ahead and turn it on. It's going to tell us to fill up the inks. Let's get some inks in this baby and hopefully we can get this printed in. Oops, let's turn that. I don't want to lose my HD ability. Just a reminder, you can find us at liveeventprinting.com. Head on over to the site if you're interested. And um, if you buy an Epson printer, please choose us. We'd love to provide you an Epson P700. Or 900 now as, as always with new printers I'm always a little bit worried if there's potentially something stuck in the rack and there just may be sounds like there is we want to make sure that if there is we get that out of there before we turn it on Oh, I know what's happening. It's hitting on the bubble wrap. Huh. How do you like that? I put the bubble wrap down because it's just a very comfortable way to put a printer on top of another printer. Um, you know, they tell you be careful because bubble wraps are static, but maybe that's not the case here. So, Apple! Get 
this print ready right here. That's going to look great, everybody, for this gentleman's hat, which will print this live in the, in the group here in just a moment. So I'm going to lift this up, Apple. Here's what I want you to do. We're going to turn this off. you to pull this sheet out, okay? Okay. So here you go, lift up, pull it out. I just want to make sure I'm not on the door back there and I'm not perfectly set up. Now, this will be able to just pull in and out with, and then our top tray again, which we'll pull out. So, according to the instructions, now we're ready to uh, We want to uh, dust the unit as it tells us to do, which I have a duster that my wife has hidden from me, which is usually not something that the wives hide, but we'll use this duster here. We'll just lightly dust the unit off as it says. Man, it's such a beautiful unit. Epson, you did a great job on this unit. Cool beans. The best part about be beans is that they're vegan. <laughs> Let's get some ink put into this baby. All right, so your job, Apple, will be to start unboxing me. You know, we'll go matte black and photo black. And um, so the inks are smaller in size than your standard Epson P800 inks, which. Um, this is a 64 ml of the 800 ink, and um, I'm unsure what these sizes are until I look at them. Let's go ahead and bring the camera over here, Apple. Look, unplug it or take it out of the stand. Look at that. Beautiful. Now you don't have to do that. So we're just going to turn it on, let everybody see what's happening. Hopefully, everything's taken out of there how beautiful that is i'm excited everybody we're going to set this baby up in english Ingra. we want to go to summer because i kind of like the summer look we're going to do the date what's today's date everybody may what uh, 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 no. what where's my phone i forgot the date wednesday 19. Whoops, let me go backwards. And the time right now is 434-0434. And we're going to go to PM. What? It's going to make me do military time. I don't think I set it up for 24 hour time. 434. Let's go to OK. The ink cartridges. All right. So let's go to OK and let's pop these things open. And it's going to want to put in your MK first. Well, it can't certainly turn on until we're ready to uh, get some ink in there, but I probably went a little too fast. It'll tell me, hey man, why isn't there any ink in there? Give me some scissors, buddy. I can't cut these. What the hell was that? It was a casual drop. We're just going to turn that off and restart it because we um, don't want to run the print head without any ink. 
in it. So give me just a moment for the head to go back. I didn't realize it was going to start doing that, but we'll go ahead and throw these in. First one, MK, photo black. Go ahead and stop. Give me some more as we're going. Stop playing around. Got to keep that little guy focused, you know. We'll start it up again. So we got light gray going in, GY. Hey, Apple. Yep. How about you hand me some other ink bottles? Hand them to me in the order that they're in. That way I don't get them backwards. Light gray. We're looking for the blue, the magenta. Now apparently, in the order that they're in, so this is Vivid Magenta, we need a blue for cyan, it'll say cyan on it. Vivid Magenta, you can pop the packages, they simply tear on the sides. You'll find a little tear slot. This is gonna be our cyan. Now we're looking for light cyan. Buddy, you just look. You see this right here? That area, you just tear it all the way down. Vivid light magenta. So we're looking for light cyan. Look, see this right here? That's a little yeah. parasol. That's uh, you just tear it across. And this one is going to be for our light cyan. We need yellow and violet. Violet is what makes the printer different than every other previous version is that we have a Violet cartridge. Let's go ahead and close the box down and Then restart it and it should recognize the carts and start activating the carts Powell how you doing my friend? You know what I'm thinking, right, Powell? Um, let's go ahead and go through this again. English, summer, we're gonna do this all over again. Um, that's correct already. 12 hours, PM, okay. All right, so it's already gonna start filling this up. This is kind of cool because we can actually see how long it's going to take to fill this up. And do we have a phone on us so we can start a stopwatch? Let's go ahead here. Hit our reset. And we'll see the time it takes to fill up the ink. Now that's also all that's in the box. There's nothing else in the box. This box will definitely put in our storage unit. And the first thing we need to do is install our maintenance tank and hopefully there's already, so there's already one maintenance tank in there, as you can see. And then we have a, looks like Epson gives us a second maintenance tank. That's pretty cool. It's very efficient. And what's cool is that there is a built-in light on this printer that will be able to see what it's doing. This is the second maintenance tank. So 15 minutes. It says don't open any covers or turn the power off. It takes about 15 minutes and we'll see. So while we're doing that, I need to get this half pressed and I just need to find myself a little table in the ankle. Ow. Stop. You hit yourself in the ankle. 
How about you fall on the floor and let me take a photo and print it with the Epson P700? Right now we're at a minute and 35 seconds. Um, so, I suppose what I will do Thank you, Epson America. Thank you, Amazon, for the delivery. I'm getting private messages asking um, All righty then, let's get this baby moved over really quick We should have done this at the shop, but, you know, between work and everything here and the baby, I just haven't got to the shop today, but I will definitely get there. Everybody, I'm just installing this hat press. This is hat press number two we have. And I think I'm probably going to need this one right here. But I'll find out this is a smaller hat unit, so we definitely want to make sure that the print is going to fit on this because it may or may not, and if it doesn't, we'll just print another. And I think it will. What'd you do with those scissors, homie? So running at five minutes seven seconds we're going to print this transfer that i printed on the epson 3880 i'm highly addicted to printing everybody Definitely, it's not going to be that flat. Somebody calling me? Uh -huh. Must be mom's phone. Face ID me, please. We're at 6 minutes, 24 seconds of the initial fill. Now, 
Now I'll tell you everybody what I am absolutely more excited about um, beyond this. Um, I'm excited about the Epson software that they, um, you know, built for this process for this printer because the Epson software is now an online software. And I just need to get a small towel to put under there. Give me a little bit of bump room, and I have one of those somewhere, but I can just use this right here. Things we do for people in nursing homes. If you own a print business out there, everybody, remember those people in nursing homes. You know, remember those people that are less fortunate that um, can't get away. And while we're doing that, we're just going to come right over here to our hat press. And, you know, I should be doing this at the shop. And we're just not, you know, freaking am so busy. I can't even leave. Can't even leave here to go to the shop. Sorry, Gio. That's just life right now. He's like, boy, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> and it looks like it's going to be a little bit tall, but the real question is, I'm going to have to make this smaller or not? I mean, Probably I want to, yes. Huh? Probably yes. I don't want to make it smaller. double press on and because I don't know the material of this I never pressed on one of these hats the guy just brought it over to me and he's like um, will you press this for my family member No, no, it's no sweat, man. It's just finding all my tools while they're here, you know, and in the area. So that's all. Worst case scenario, I can always use a cut sheet. I just have all these things already set apart and I put them down somewhere. Um, cut sheets I thought were over here, unless they're down here. Space, but maybe not. And we'll tell you where we are in the process of the printer. Everything Epson, you know. This is kind of the uh, unboxing guide, just so you know where we are. We've gone there, we've gone there. I shook the inks already. Shaking them up earlier today. I look like a maniac. I look like a maniac shaking the inks, right? Twenty-five more, and I'm like, "Holy crap, dude!" 
give me a second to relax. Huh? Isn't that your dog to make shirts? Yeah, no, to make transfers, not so much shirts, you know. They both go hand in hand, you're right about that. However, I do have a cover sheet that I need to use that I lost. Is it down here maybe I put it in this area? We're about 85% done. And then we'll run right back over. This will work for just a moment. What I want to do is just make sure I don't burn the hat. is good. We don't want to leave any press marks in this thing. Red is a really interesting color for hats, by the way, because um, you know, as always, the hats with red, you always have a dye migration issue. Really? Yeah, you know, because a product kind of burns. Yeah. And what I want to do is just make sure of how much area I've got. So I've got about a finger there. You know, if I have to make this smaller, then we'll have to print one up really quick. And that might be what we have to do. That's pretty much what I'm gonna have to do because I can't, you know, I can't bump this back anymore because of the type of hat that I'm working on. Is there on. any vegans in your group? Yeah, there's a lot of vegans in the group. how much room I've got. I'm still at the same place. Well, you know what I'm going to have to do is make this about an inch smaller. So let's come right over here, find out where we are in that Epson, and I'll make this an inch smaller because the hat material is just a little too large. We're almost done with this right here. So let's come over to my rip. Here we're using What I'm going to do now is just flip this sideways and I want to make this a little bit smaller, two inches even. Just like so, we're going to flip that. We're going to print that. We're going to go white under any color. Let's get this back in there. I'm going to grab this and just in case I'm only using one copy of this, I just want to get it in the center of the page. Let's send that bad boy to print. We'll just have to bake another. Um, it is a political print, so I really don't want to do. Let's see how far we went on this. And it took us roughly, all of a sudden my phone doesn't want to unlock. What the hell is going on with my phone? There we go, about 15 minutes. So I hit stop here, initialization complete. Let's go to okay. And the new menu, wow, let's take a look at that. And over here, everybody, we're printing on one of the Epson printers. And I need to do something really quick because I got a little feed error going on.
usually when you have a feed error that's trying to tell you, ah, oh, the paper's not straight, or you know, something weird like that, or the paper's not the right dimension for what's set up in the rig. Hopefully that'll solve my problem. Looks like we're going good. Let's see if there's any comments. How you doing, everybody? Six days till the lunar eclipse. Yes, sir, that's correct. We're going to be right over here. and Right now we're printing a transfer. We'll be using this paper right here to print one of our photos. And we're going to be doing this from the Epson driver. Printer's having some fun doing its thing right over there. And um, okay, so all of these menus that we're looking at in here, everybody, can be uh, found in the paper settings. You know, you've got your job history available. Let's take a look at all these. Um, the brightness of the LCD. We're in summer mode right now. The ink levels, as you can see, we're using starter inks. And these starter inks are obviously of lower value than the uh, normal inks, which, you know, the normal Epson inks run 60 to 40, sorry, 60 to 80 ml. I have another box of inks over here. Thank you, Epson. Come here. You're going to hold it under the heat press like this. You don't want to go any further down. If you go further down, you're going to smash the heat press into. Don't go down any more than that, okay? And just stay there until it beeps. So we had to make another transfer. As you can see, we're running about 25 milliliters of ink in each one. Um, let's go to our menu. Paper setting, we're going to start off with a What's cool about this new printer is this, everybody, is that unlike our old Epson printers, the P600, P800, 3880R3000, so on and so forth, is that it prints from the middle rather than the other printer printing over here. Okay, just lift up. I want you to hold right there. Do not go down. If you go down anymore, we've lost a transfer. Go down to right there. Okay? So we're going to put this photo, this sheet in the printer. As you can see, the print from the left, our slider, works always going to your right of your printer. And then this over here. Now we can insert our media to the left of the printer. And looks like we are in the proper place and it looks like Epson may have um, we're gonna try to find our 4x6 series we're gonna use 4x6 here premium glossy we're gonna hit OK but now we need to come over here and install our drivers so let me close the rip for this customer down okay so that should be Ready to go. Let's go a little bit more. I know we can do it. We can go ahead and raise our time. We're going to go to 350 here. Okay, 
So Apple, you're just going to do it one more time. And just hold it to not even about there, okay? Whoa. There you go. Thanks. Yeah. All right. So now, everybody, we've got to install our driver. You want to go ahead and get your drivers installed from Epson.com. Alrighty then, let's go ahead and find our drivers, which I've already downloaded my driver. That's not the one I wanted. Stop, Apple, really? Let's go ahead and get this installed. We're going to run it. As you can see, we're running the driver. So somebody just asked me um, about the Epson P600 or 700, 900 DTF. Unknown at this time. Needs a rip to run it. That's a raster image processing program to run the printer. And it's going to need ink control. As of right now, what's out of China is that the cartridges at this point are bypassable so you will need to you should you should want to use your just go ahead and lift up and we're going to take we don't want to research software let's go ahead is it at 350 yet now Everybody in the nursing homes have to wear a, a mask, but I'll ask my wife. I don't think um, the nurses have to. Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah, I, I mean, like, the only the nurses have to. Then, like, the patients. Because then, like, patients with breathing problems. How that work? I don't know, my friend. Come here and hold right here. Go down. Right All right, so we're installing our drivers. Turn on your printer, it's already turned on. It's gonna search for our printer. I can go ahead and get this printer set up on the Wi-Fi really quick. What's pretty cool about the printer, everybody, is it has direct to iOS printing capabilities now. Print right to your printer from your iPhone or your iPad. So you don't have to like plug in the image? Do what? You don't have to like plug in the image? So yeah, you don't. So we can do Wi-Fi direct to set up or just do a standard Wi-Fi. We're gonna start set up. We're going to use our one hour T's and I'm going to move you right out of the way really quick. Just pop you right there while I'm entering in my password. I tell you, the screen is just larger. That's wonderful, especially for people like me, you know, because I struggle seeing small things. We're just going to hit it one more time, Apple, just to make sure that thing is really baked. And just right there. Don't put that anymore, okay? Right there. Don't go down. If you do, we've ruined the transfer. Okay, are we set up? I never liked to upgrade my firmware.
I will do all this later. And I think it said we're set up perfectly. Yeah, Wi-Fi set up. Okay, so we've got some premium glossy in here. So what I can do now is go over to this iPad right here and we can just go ahead and open up our new Epson print driver. Found at Epson.com. We want to go over here and search for the P700. Like so. And we're going to see they're out of stock. Boom. Worldwide. Thank you, Epson, for looking my way. I'm so grateful. And um, what I want to do is click here and see if I can't download the Epson print driver just to show you guys how to do this. So we're going to go to support and maybe this print driver right here. Download the iOS app. And so we're gonna get the Epson Smart Panel. We're gonna go ahead and throw that in. That's interesting, but it's gonna make me face, okay? I don't know if that's what I really wanted to do. Download for the iOS app, okay, it's uploading. I've already got a photo in there. Photographers are saying that the app here lets them print directly to their computer. So we're definitely going to try this out. We're going to agree. I got the perfect photo to print already. Uh, we're going to go ahead and allow while using the app. That's what we want to connect to. Okay, connected. All right, access to class. Quick and select your menus. Sorry guys, let's go back and look at that again. All right, so let's see how to do this now. We're going to professional printing. Let's go to no, we don't wanna do that just yet. Open print layout. So let me just make sure I can get a photo loaded in here. Probably do that by pushing the button here. We'll let it access my devices. And what I'm going to do is just grab that photo right there. And we're gonna be printing this on a four by six. So we wanna, maybe you can move it with your, oh, that is so cool. So now we want to probably I don't know how this is working, so um, let's do a print preview because we always want one. And we're able to change the gamma, change the layout, change the width, 91.7. So we can click up, it's already set margin color, lock the aspect ratio, 366 DPI. And this is just a standard print I would on this like to come over here that's for panorama that'll give us a further view of it we want to be able to it doesn't look like it's going to let us do that so rendering use icc profile printer manages color because i've already got that set in there look at the gamma but we should be having at least an option to do a borderless or very close to a borderless What's the star do? Current settings. We want to edit, close, current settings, untitled. Wonder where the paper layout on this thing is. Because what are we doing here? The measurements. Can I just drag and drop? Hold on. Does that photo have a little tab on it? Okay, so that's a bummer. But at least I know the date where this was. So let me go find this photo again. It's on the date of my child's birth. March 12th. 
He was born the ninth, so it should be right in here somewhere. Not sure if it was in Kelly's printer. Oh, no, here it is. Okay. See, that's the one I want to print. So let's go ahead and load this into the Epson driver. It's an Epson print layout. We want to get rid of this. And we're just going to go like this. We're going to go to camera roll. And I'm going to haul booty all the way back up to March. Just a month ago. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. See, this one here had that weird little line at the bottom, not sure why, and that one's here. So we definitely want to get this out of the preferences. We want to go to units from millimeters to inches. My brain works better in inches because I'm born here in the United States. Background color, we can do a white. Um, Show thumbnail a printer, console, reset. We're going to go to print preview settings. We want to preview. And now what we want to do is try to make this as close to a 4x6 as possible. Doesn't look like it's going to let me print this correctly. So three on the three is where this is at. This should be allowing us to go borderless in which I just need to find out, you know, how to make this borderless. We could fit that to the page. Perfect, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Centering, I don't ever like to print borderless. 5.59 inch, three point margin, lock the aspect ratio type. We're not doing that, we're coming back over here Media type pre premium photo, paper size. We want to find our four by six. So you can see now we're going to come back over here. What's supposedly so beautiful about this app is that it's going to give us the availability. Oh, check that out. You can change between your RGB and CMYK. It's going to give us the availability to um, like design in here and change the color schemes of the actual um, product that we're printing, okay? in which I don't know how all that works right now, but we're just gonna check out the native print right out of the box. I would like to darken it a little, but that's okay. What I don't want it to do is, you know, as of right now, we can't go further than this. Yeah, I'd like to go further than this, but I can cut that out. So what I can't do is figure out why this is not allowing me to control the layout, which is really weird. Maybe if we don't lock the aspect ratio, fit to page, left, what's that going to do? Move our margins width. I can't move my width. I can't move my inches, which is really odd. So maybe that's telling me that the uh, let's just go ahead and print it. My wife will love it at the office regardless. All right, everybody, we're going to print this. There is some working that I'd like to do with this, of course. We're receiving the data over Wi-Fi. But just out of the box, you know, we really got to learn the Epson driver and the print software. So 
So this kind of gives us an idea of what we're looking at. First time that, you know, to be able to print from your iPad is just freaking amazing, man. Um, truly gives us a preview. It's so beautiful. Can you see it? Probably not. There you go. Oh, the light's on. We got to look at that. Oh, man. I want to get that first. Let's uh, see what we're printing. Hooray. We can see that. Notice my flash is not on. That's the built-in light. Let's you see what you're printing. No longer do we have to open a door to look in. I got to tell you, man, the quality of that photo is amazing. I'll just take and pull this out. Now, let me run and grab something. It's still on the preview right there. Now, this is uh, a print that I did that is set up with my own profiles and my own light control. This is the print that we just did. It's already dry. Got to tell you, that's a beautiful print, though. Let's try to put the light on so you can see. So there's print one that we just did. Let's print two. The natural built-in profile by Epson's a nice product. All right, so now everybody. Just keep that right there. Now let's walk over here, Apple. That door. We'll go ahead and finish what we were doing over here off the Epson printer. Um, we'll do some more printing. I got a lot of stuff that I want to print. And again, everybody, if you do get the Epson um, printer, which I hope you do, you can order it on our site. This is using the new Epson print layout, and um, that's your Epson designer. You can do print photos, print a document, creative print, print head cleaning, video manuals. Everything that you need to do is literally right down here. So this is the new Epson print from your device. Open your camera. Get a load of that directly from your camera. That's incredible. Creative print, that's probably where we would start designing like crazy. Um, so we'll go through a few more of those tutorials. Let's bring it over here. And I need to get this print done for the nursing home because we're heading right over there to pick up my wife. And just to make sure that that is... Uh... Yeah, that's good. So the first thing I want to do is put this back on over that. That does not need to be there. We need as much pressure as possible. And we're just going to set that there. Put this on it. Don't burn yourself, Ernest. It's not a political post or anything. It's just something somebody wanted at a nursing home. You know, the old fellas there and the person reached out to us and asked me if I do this. I go out of my way for people in nursing homes. As you all should, you know. They can't get out of there. They're stuck in there. such a weird little hat. I have this little pillow somewhere and I've just lost it. I have to go get another one. I guess I could cut another one, but you know, when, if you don't have a product that you need, you can always improvise. You just need to get that back a little further.
Where'd my scissors go at? That's the P700. The 900 is in a box. I don't even understand the models. Each model is different. You know, they have their different functions that they use and require. But I want to make sure that this is folded equally in half. And two drops, scissors. Huh? Yeah, no, right. Okay. Little root toot is now screaming. Screaming. Well, he does. I shouldn't need application tape, but if I had application tape, it'd be right under my nose, that's for sure. don't want this to move at all so all right nursing home fella I'm on my way for you I'm gonna pick up my wife at 530 this post is no bearing on anything it's just what I'm doing during the day sorry if anybody's offended but I just did a bunch of other ones so you know how it works I help anybody in a nursing home if you're in a nursing home in America Please reach out to me. I'll definitely get you a print that'll make you smile. A lot of times it won't even charge you. He's going to love that. All right, everybody. So I just needed to get that done. Thanks for watching. This is the Epson P700. Um, thank you, Epson, for sending us an awesome printer. So appreciated. Head on over to the website, everybody. You can pick up an Epson P700. They're out of stock, but if you do buy, buy from us. We'd love to have you, um, you know, purchase from us no money was made off this we're not trying to sell anything i just love epson printers that's all it comes down to so if you're watching out there somewhere in america somewhere in the world realize that it all starts when you buy your first epson printer epson printers are the most versatile printers i think we can get in the world right now they have so many functions that people use them for but if you want to sublimate everybody definitely and yeah if you want to sublimate get an epson f570 that's the way to go get yourself a photographic printer get other photographic printers you know any of the epson models are great devices to have and um, if you can get an epson model look on your marketplace look on your um, eBay, go to Epson's website, my website, liveeventprinting.com. If you need something professionally printed that's a photograph, reach out to me and I'll get you a photograph printed. So thanks for watching, everybody. And I tell you, there'll be a lot more videos coming of the Epson P700 and P900 um, so that we can just dig into how they've taken a great printer, which is the Epson P800 and the P600, and made them even better by not having to switch your inks. Now there's dedicated lines or 10 channel printers. The resolution is just amazing, blows away some of the competing printers. And the best part is this thing has the smallest footprint 
of printers. The P900 is even smaller than the P800. Um, so there's just so much to choose for. Follow me on Facebook, right? You've got this channel to follow me on. Follow me on YouTube. You can look us up, Live Event Printing, or just look up Brother Ernest, and you should find me on uh, YouTube and at our website, liveeventprinting.com. So long, everybody. This is the Epson P700 review, and um, there'll be many things coming. If you're in one of our other groups, like the Epson F570 printers, right? This is the best desktop sublimation printer you're going to get. Please do not buy a sawgrass printer, okay? They are leagues and years behind. Why buy a sawgrass printer when you can use Epson sublimation ink for pennies on the dollar? Okay, everybody? So long, and thank you for watching. And um, let me just get over here. I won't be able to say goodbye to you because my helper ran away. So we can go here just like that. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Epson. We loved reviewing this printer and we'll promise we'll do many more reviews of the Epson P700. And if you're one of the lucky ones in America that have a P700, will you please make videos Will you please share the video so that users out there who are thinking about buying an Epson P700 for their photographic printing business or just their home hobby printing, they can make the decision and get one. When it comes to brand new Epson printers with me, they're already made. I buy them as soon as they come out, all right? Thanks a lot, everybody. I'm Brother Ernest. So long. Thank you, Epson, by the way, and thank you, Amazon.